American Conference. Turner Gill's Buffalo squad hosting Bowling Green. Buffalo up five. They're punting Willie Jeter. That's not very Jeterian uh, of him. He muffs the pump. Buffalo recovers. They punch it in the next play. Add a two-pointer up 29-16. Same score. Now it's Buffalo punting in the fourth quarter. Bowling Green. Block! P.J. Mahone. The block and the recovery lead to a touchdown, make it 29-23. Under three minutes to play, Bowling Green with the football, third and 10. Tyler Sheehan finds Adrian Hodges. And then later in that drive, you see it 45, 44, 43. Freddie Barnes, reservations for six. Bowling Green comes back, wins 30-29 to at five. Virginia Tech facing East Carolina. Pirates stunned the Hogies last year. What's that? What's that? You missed it? Okay, here it is. August 30th, East Carolina, the block punt return for a touchdown with less than two minutes remaining. You, you may know that Frank Beamer and company specialize in that kind of play, but ECU turned the tables on them. Big win for Skip Holtz and company. All right, so we go back to Thursday. First quarter, ECU down 6 0. Broke out the new helmets. They had Jeff Blake there to get everybody fired up. Dominic Lindsay in for the touchdown, but wait a minute. Flag on the play holding on East Carolina. Next play, Patrick Pinckney rolls out. Throws a short to Rob Cass. Cody Grimm able to force the fumble. Grimm recovers it from Virginia Tech, so a lost opportunity for the Pirates. They had three turnovers in the game. Second quarter, still 6-0. Ryan Williams breaks three tackles in the backfield. He had a fumble last week against North Carolina that set up the winning field goal, led to a second straight loss for the Hokies. He said he was determined to make up for it. 46-yard gain on this play. You see, spins off two tackles and then breaks another one. He had a career-high 179 yards rush. Later in the drive, Tyrod Taylor. He could tuck it and run as well. Ball goes back out of the end zone, though. Touchback for ECU. Turnovers, again a problem for the Hokies. Later in the second quarter, Taylor, this time he gets to the end zone and he's able to hold on. And, and I do believe there might be some laundry on the field. Check out the fake he put on Dustin Lineback and then able to finish the run for the touchdown. Virginia Tech up 13-0. Fourth quarter, Pirates down 13-3. Virginia Tech's defense big all game long. Pinkney throws, tip ball. Richard Carmichael makes the interception and Tech Goes on 16 to 3. They're bold eligible. Tech Broncos have won seven straight against the Bulldogs, uh, but the Bulldogs 3 and 0 at home this season. Boise State 20 to 7. First play of the drive in the second quarter. Kellen Moore, Titus Young, 40 yards. And it was 27 7 at the break. Looked like a laugher. Turned into a drama. Third quarter, opening drive for Boise. Moore, pass, pressure, pass, picked. Josh Victorian. And then he avoids Moore. Oh, and he scores. Just the third pick of the season for Moore. Said afterwards, throwing that stupid pick kept him in the game. It's 30 to 14. Louisiana Tech quarterback Ross Jenkins. 73 yard scoring drive ends in the nine yard keeper. 30 to 21. Then the ensuing kickoff. Matt Nelson dribbles it, and Boise State never saw it coming. Nelson recovers, and Tech right back in the game. Jenkins to Dennis Morris. And man, that is a TPN. That's a top play nominee if you're new to the program. Take another look. Wow. Morris going up on Kyle Wilson. Wow. And we have got a game on ESPN. 30 to 28. It's actually on ESPN too, but it's all the fam same family. Kyle Brotsman going to kick a 31 yarder and he misses it right here. And all of a sudden you're thinking, man, we may have to change the rundown. Louisiana Tech coach Derek Dooley says we may pull off an upset. But then the Boise State defense held, and the next offensive possession, Moore goes to work. Kyle Efa, 40 yards, down to the 15 more. 354 yards passing, three touchdowns. Uh, this is the last one. Austin Pettis, he gets it. Two-point conversion good. Boise State up 38 to 28. And then Jeremy Avery, he's going to buy some insurance after Louisiana Tech turned it over on downs. He ran for 146 yards, 43 on this play. And Boise State's going to win it. 45-35. It's never good enough, but it's good enough for us. That's what Coach Pete had to say.